Hi, welcome back to my channel. I often get asked how we can heal from our past traumas and how we can stop these from creeping up into our present. These traumas can be anything. They could be from a bad relationship, they could be from someone that's hurt you, it could be something that you've experienced in your life that you just truly cannot forget. The truth is, I don't want you to forget. I want you to heal. And this video is going to give you a few tools and techniques that will help you to heal from these things that keep creeping into your present and keep creeping into the now. The truth is, you don't need to forget. Something in your day-to-day -day life keeps reminding you of this trauma because it's time for you to heal. This is what I need you to do. So, I want you to allow yourself seven days. I want you to be kind to yourself for seven days. And I want you to just take a few moments to listen to the tools and techniques that I give you in this video today. Every morning when you get up, you pack yourself a work bag. In this bag, you carry all your daily essentials that you need for that day. Just like your work bag, you also pack a mental bag. This is stuff that you carry in your mind and in your psyche throughout the day. So if you're carrying your trauma, it weighs heavy on your soul and it weighs heavy on your psyche. So we need to clean out this mental bag so that we can carry it with the positivity and the gratitude that we need to be carrying with us instead of the traumas that we carry with us day to day. When you physically hurt yourself, you see that there is a graze or a scratch or something that needs healing, a bruise. You allow yourself the time for it to heal. You pay attention to it because you know it's there and you know that it needs to heal. So just like the traumas in your mind, the things that you need to heal from, just because you cannot see them doesn't mean they don't need the same time and the attention and the healing needed for them to truly heal. This is what we need to pay attention to. What we need to do in this video is bring the traumas from your past into the forefront of your mind so that we truly know what the issues are and how to address them. So now I'm going to show you how. I want you to get a piece of paper, a pen, and a white candle and I want you to lock yourself away away from any disturbances any place that is good for you I want you to sit there and I want you to truly use this next 10 minutes to reflect I need you to put all your heart and attention into this because this is what we are going to do now we are going to remove the past from your mind right now right here I want you to get your piece of paper and your pen and I want you to play some nice relaxing music in the background I want you to take the first few minutes to sit in silence, pure silence. So let's take, let's do that now. Let's do it step by step together. Get your piece of paper and get your pen. Got it? Excellent. Now I want you to take a few minutes, a few minutes of just silence. In these few minutes, I want you to think about the things that are bugging you from your past. Start these few minutes now. Okay, so what came up? What came up into your mind right now? I want you to write it down in bullet format from the beginning to the end. It could be one thing, it could be numerous things. I want you to write them all down in bullet format. If you want, you can put them in a priority list, things that you think about more on a day-to-day -day basis. I want you to write those down. So take a couple of minutes to write that down. <laughs> So by now, you should have a list of points, things that you want to heal from, things that you don't just want to heal from, need to heal from. Below I have two links. I've attached a link to an instrumental meditation and I've also attached a link to a healing meditation. What I want you to do is focus on each one of your points, point by point. So now let's choose point one. 
I want you to focus on this point. I want you to press the instrumental meditation and I want you to bring this trauma, point one trauma right now into your psyche. I want you to think about how you feel right now. I want you to think about how you felt then as well, but I want you to think about how it's making you feel right now. Once you have done that, I want you to put this piece of paper away and I want you to click on the healing meditation. I want you to listen to this healing meditation between, four, between five to seven minutes. Once you have listened to the healing meditation, I want you to just open your eyes and think about how you feel about that point. You should be feeling completely different and that is good. So I want you to do that for every single point you have written down on your piece of paper. Once you have gone through each point on your piece of paper, I want you to understand one thing. It won't just miraculously go away. It will take time. But you need to change the habit of your mind. Your mind has got so used to thinking about this past trauma that it's now at the forefront of your mind. We need to rewire your brain and change how it thinks. We need it to disassociate from the past trauma and we need to start welcoming these positive changes that are going to happen in your life. For the next seven days, I want you to listen to this healing meditation. Day one, day two, day three, be patient with yourself. But by day seven, you will feel truly healed because you'll be focusing on what's coming for you, the positivity, the gratitude. Anytime this thought comes into your mind, I want you to allow it to come in, but I want you to send it out with love. I want you to send it out with forgiveness. I want you to send it out with healing. That's what I want you to do. Please practice this with discipline for seven days. It's just seven days. It will transform the way that you feel about your past traumas. Once you have worked through all of your points and you have done the healing for the seven days, what I want you to do is a really, really beautiful exercise. I want you to get this piece of paper and I want you to rip it into shreds and I want you to just bury it or burn it in a safe environment, of course. What we are doing when we do that is saying that I am no longer letting this come into my present. I'm burning it. I'm sending it back out to the universe because now I am ready to heal. I am healed. This is what we are saying. So I really hope that when you've got through each one of your points, when you rip this piece of paper or when you burn this piece of paper, you burn it with love, positivity and gratitude. So what we want to start doing what we want to start doing from this point forward is packing our mental bag with a lot of positivity, love, gratitude and anything positive that comes in our way. That's what we want to carry around in our psyche day to day. Don't put extra burden on yourself. Why? This life is beautiful. Just think about the positive things. Think about the three positive things that are happening in your life right now. Write those down. Write them down next to point one and that will make you truly feel different. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll happily answer. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and thank you so much for your ongoing support. Thank you, God bless, goodbye.